What's up, this is Life Manual, and I am your host, Ricardo Mui, here with Electro Metro. We're a small startup based in South Jersey, and originally, this all started with the idea of joining the MIT Clean Energy Prize competition, but with a total of seven of us willing to take on the challenge, we decided that we should not stop there. The project we are currently working on is creating a hydrogen separator cell, and while some may say this has been done before, we will introduce new ways of creating explosive gas from water that can be separated into their hydrogen and oxygen counterparts, making our design nothing short of one of a kind. Then, by exciting the hydrogen and fusing with the oxygen directly into the engine cylinder chamber, we can reduce the likelihood of it binding to the hydrocarbons found in gasoline. The fuel cell will incorporate many new ideas, such as a membrane to keep the gases separated, making it modular to reduce current draw, and flash protectors to stop from backfiring. Of course, there are a lot of baby steps to take. Currently, we created a modular RPM sensor. This will eventually be upgraded to a 3D printed version, with metal bearings, bushings, axles, and gears to take the heat. The benefit of reinventing the wheel here is the way how it can be used in so many applications, and since certain things spin at such high RPM, we can step it down to values easily readable by conventional open source hardware, such as the Arduino. This of course is important to the project, because we will have to make sure that the engine is holding RPM when mixing gases, while giving necessary data to know when to inject what amount of hydrogen gas directly into the cylinders. I have worked on similar alternative energy projects years ago that is recognized by the Engineered Arresting Systems Corporation, Coriel Institute, Delaware Valley Institute, the U.S. Army, TD Bank, Google, and more to name a few. Combining all the knowledge accumulated here, we'll be able to make a device that can withstand our need for energy. In the end, the fuel cell won't turn your car into the typical hybrid. It will theoretically give additional horsepower, along with higher MPGs. And by using the overhead charge of a car's alternator, we'll be able to back convert that power into something that will actually move you forward. For more information on how the project is progressing, visit us at lifemanualblog.com under the Electro Metro blog tab. You'll also be able to find links to our YouTube channel and SoundCloud as well.